By the time that I was born in 1996, the Soviet Union hadn't been a thing for five years already. And that's why everything that I do know about the Soviet Union, I came to know pretty indirectly, right? So obviously we studied the Soviet Union in school and we got to know a lot about the Soviet Union by talking to the people who actually lived in the USSR back when traveling across the territories of the former Soviet Union. But what if I told you that there is one place sandwiched between Moldova and Ukraine where the Soviet Union still exists? And obviously you know about it because everyone and their mother has been there. Literally, if you type the country that doesn't exist on YouTube, you get like 20 different video results of people going to freaking Transnistria. Transnistria is pretty mainstream these days, yo. So we want to do things a little bit different. And just because we want to be able to go back in time to the Soviet Union, we need to actually jump on a time machine. And I reckon this day in the middle of winter here in the capital of Moldova, Chisinau, where fog is currently reigning supreme is actually the perfect day for us to go and find ourselves a time machine which will allow us to go back in time to the Soviet Union. Let's go to Transnistria. Righty, now obviously Transnistria is a bit of a hot spot right now just because of the war that is raging between neighboring Ukraine and Russia and that's why the Italian Ministry of Foreign Affairs actually recommends all Italians to not go to Transnistria but it's also the reason why I got myself a bodyguard for this trip hey bodyguard would you like to introduce yourself for the audience hello my name's Ravi and um, Dave's kindly invited me on this mini Soviet adventure with him so yeah yeah because you're gonna guard my back <laughs> do you like speak Russian at all Mm, no, not really, no, not at all. <laughs> How the heck are you gonna be able to guard my back, dude? <laughs> okay, according to the information that I found on the internet, the time machine that we need to go back to Transnistria is actually somewhere around there, so I think we actually need to go through it. Dang, dude, we've made it. Look at all these little time machines in the shape of minibuses and minivans and marshrut cars. Look, right now, we are indeed in our element. All we need to do is now find the actual time machine that we need to cross the border into Transnistria. Buongiorno, can you speak Russian? Нам надо в Бендере. Как мы можем доехать, пожалуйста? Отсюда ниже А, в ту сторону. Окей, спасибо. Это эти два, да? Oh, Betriebsfahrt. I thought I was in Germany all of a sudden. By the way, dude, you want to know how much does it cost to go on a trip on a time machine back to the Soviet Union? Tell me, Dave, how much? Uh, I think it was around 100 Moldavian lei, which is what? Two euro fifty? Dang, time machines are quite affordable these days, aren't they? And here's our time machine that is going to take us across the border to Transnistria. А сколько нам ехать до границы, до Бендера? Час? Полтора. Полтора час? О, oh, окей. Okay. Ну, мы будем в Бендере посмотреть там, а потом в Тираспол днем. So this bus is going all the way to Tiraspol, which is the capital. But I think what we're going to do is that we're going to stop in Bender, which is the very first Transnistrian town, after crossing the border between Moldova proper and Prinistrovia. And the reason why we're doing that is because we want to be celebrating as soon as we get to Prinistrovia. And also because this marshrutka is like uncomfy as hell. And we've got like an hour and a half to bend there on this marshrutka from Kishinev and to Tiraspol, it would be even longer. So we're just breaking the trip into two. We are actually heading to Tiraspol in the later half of the day. Can you survive like an hour and a half like this? Of course. <laughs> I don't know. 25 hours on the first class in India. Oh, really? <laughs> and obviously in this hour and a half that I just mentioned, we've got included the border crossing, which I imagine in this time period is gonna be quite tense. We're now taking more and more people in as the journey progresses, but the problem is that there are no more seats. So we've got people standing in the aisle and stuff. Dude, I don't know if I'm supposed to actually give up my seat for some of these older women. I don't know how you can sit. I don't know how you can sit. I don't know how you can sit. 
Поэтому я думаю, ну спрашиваю. Right, I just gave up my seat for an older woman, which I'm not going to call by the Russian name because otherwise everybody will know what I'm talking about. And I feel like I'm probably gonna regret it sooner or later, but at least I'm proving that Italians are real gentlemen in this part of the world as well. As we're now making our way towards the border between Moldova proper and the unrecognized Republic of Transnistria, this is actually a very good time to stop using the name Transnistria and forget about this name and start using the Russian name which is Prinistrovie. So the temperature is definitely rising here inside of this Marshutka. It's definitely getting hotter, but not just because of the temperature. The situation is getting hotter in itself because we're just about to approach the border. And to be honest, I'm not quite sure how much of it I will be able to film. 30 minutes and a border crossing later. Ladas and gentlemen, welcome to Bender. Welcome to Prinistrovie. So obviously I had to put my camera away once we crossed the border, but everything went pretty smooth. I mean, we went up there. Let me actually show you my Prinistrovian visa that I just got on arrival at the border. Let me just make sure that I cover up all sensitive information about me. But yeah, I went up to passport control and there was a young Russian lad in his 20s and he was like, okay, what's your name? What are you doing here? How long do you want to stay? And I said, I don't know, about a week or so? And he gave me a visa for seven days. Here, obviously, you've got the name of the town, Bender. And then at the top there, you've got the Russian flag, because obviously, without Russia, Prinistrovia would never be able to remain independent. And then you've got the flag of Prinistrovia, red, green and red, with the hammer and sickle on the top right. Dude, <laughs> we made it. Should we try and celebrate? Go on then, why not? <laughs> This is the first time we ever stepped foot into an unrecognized country, or at least a partially unrecognized country. Ah, no way, you want to celebrate with alcohol? Damn, look, is this actually, oh, product of Moldova, what is this? Wow, we are going to celebrate our achievement, the first time that we stepped foot into an unrecognized country in our channel, with some Moldovan cognac. From this moment on, if I get in trouble for stuff, for example, like drinking in public, which I'm not sure whether that's actually legal in Prinistrovia, if I ever get in trouble, no one's going to come to my rescue because there's no Italian embassy in Prinistrovia. Ah, I can't drink for shit. Oh. Спасибо вам большое. Ooh. So we just jumped on a bus now as we are making our way towards the very center of the city of Bender, the first town that we are going to visit in freaking Prinistrovie. And look at this bus. I don't think I've been on a bus this old. Oh my God, it's so loud. I don't think I've been on a bus that was this loud and old since the last time that I went to Forkuta. You might think that we're in Paris, but no, not quite. We're still in Prinistrovia, that's the name of the place, right? Prinistrovia just has to be the only country in the world where you can find freaking Eiffel Towers on the opposite side of the road to Lenin monuments like this. Because obviously you've got Eiffel Towers in Europe, you've got Eiffel Towers in France, but you don't have Lenin statues in France. Whereas in Russia and Belarus and Uzbekistan, you've got Lenin statues, but what you don't have is an Eiffel Tower. You know what, dude? I think I'm starving. So here's my suggestion for what we're gonna do now. Let's try and see if we can find a place to eat. But in order to be able to buy some food, we need to get money. Because my cards don't work, your cards are not going to work here. So we can only pay in cash, but Prinistrovia has got its own currency and stuff. So we just need to find an exchange place. How about that? Let's do that and grab some food. There's a spear bank here, so there's a bank. I'm wondering if there's any chance that we can exchange money here. Teraz pytanie, a można pamiętać dzięki z diesem w zjatu rubli? Iz jevra, da? Iz jevra w rubli? Ja bym mógł, może być. Zajdziecie Aha, ok, spasiba wam bardzo. Można pamiętać dzięki na wasi, pożasta. Spasiba. Suma. Aha, da, 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 ponia. 200, to po 200. Da, da, ponia, wszystko, ok. Spasiba wam bardzo. No was oczy jest krasywie dzięki, interesne. Do widzenia. 
what I've noticed walking around is that literally, like, we're the only ones who are like under 60 years of age. That's insane. So I've just changed 150 euros. Hopefully it'll be enough for a week here in Prinistrovia. And we've got 200 rubles. It says here in Russian Prinistrovia, 200 rubles. This is a 50 ruble banknote with the administration palace in Tiraspol. Oh my god, the 5 ruble banknote just looks so much like Monopoly money. It's insane. And it's thanks to this money right here that we won't be able to not starve during our time in Prinistrovia. Well, again, we were just walking around town trying to find a cool spot where we could get some food. Yeah, yeah. Now that we've got some trans... Uh, sorry, I mean, Prinistrovian money. And I think I just found the best place ever. Look at this. It says there, Stalovka SSSR, which means that this is a canteen. And supposedly its name is uh, Canteen USSR, which makes me think that going inside here could be pretty interesting. Dude, should we go? Let's grab some food. Okay, dude, so there are two doors. There's one, and then there's this one right here. Let's get this one, this one. <laughs> Where on earth did we just end up? I am utterly speechless. This is like the most Soviet cafe I've ever been to. Well, I haven't been to many Soviet cafes at all, but this is just... There's one. Oh, this is interesting. This is actually Ukrainian. It says the usual thing, like, proletars of all countries unite together. And you've got some more Soviet drapes over there. The TV is playing a Soviet movie of some kind. You've got a Soviet kettle sitting on a Soviet pedestal. Hey, mom. Yeah. I'm in Prinestrovia. Dang, guys, look at this. There's even a portrait of freaking Joseph Stalin right next to Yuri Gagarin. How can these two people be put on the same level? It's not fair. Now, this might be the most insane place I've ever been to. Like, So there's a Soviet menu here. It's obviously everything is in Russian. You've got the prices. And let's see what we can get. Yeah, I see there's a filet. Is it a curry? Yes, it's a curry. Yes, you can just use the cartons and the curry filet. Are you paying for the Soviet rubles or the Soviet rubles? Yes, Soviet rubles. Yes, Soviet rubles. How much will it be? 50. 50? Okay. What do you think about this place? I love it. How about the decorations? Yeah, very um I like it. But some 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 figures may be a bit more controversial. Yeah, there's a couple of like Stalin <laughs> pictures, which is yeah. I don't think we're really in the place where we can discuss politics in a safe manner, right? So we might, we might as well want to keep our opinions to ourselves. We're not here to discuss politics, we're yeah. here to see a country, enjoy it, and maybe get a beer later. So, yes. <laughs> We're now in the middle of a typical playground for children here in the country, in the unrecognized country of Prinistrovia. Look at this, you've got a commie block to that side, you've got a commie block, a Khrushchevka to this side, you've got, guess what, a commie block to this side, and you guys are never going to believe what we are going to find to this side, which is another commie block. And obviously you've got the volleyball net, where children can come to, to play some volleyball, you've got a basketball playground. The basket and the rim is so low that you can actually dunk in it. These tubes right here, these pipes, I have no idea what these are for. There's nothing inside. And here, you've got the swing, which is probably the best part. I will probably spend hours on a swing like this, just swinging along with life and enjoying the view over the amazing town of Benda in southern Pridnistrovia. Then, what's this? Do you, do you reckon I can climb it? I'm pretty sure you can, Dave. <laughs> then hold <laughs> it. <laughs> Seems sturdy. I'm scared of heights, dude. Keep going. Climbing a rusty Soviet ladder in the middle of Pridnistrovia. What could ever go wrong, right? <laughs> Oh shit, my hands are now full of crap. Oh, in one second guys, I just realized, let me call up my mother real quick. I need to find out when I got my last tetanus shot. Got a tetanus shot here, mate. <laughs> <laughs> right guys, we have now found a ride to go to Tiraspol, to the capital of Prinistrovia. This is a very nice Mercedes. 
А по дороге они больше нет, а военные часто и все, где нельзя снимать. Yeah. Да, ага, ну да. Окей, окей. Просто знаю, что на границе нельзя снимать. Спаньол? Испания? Испания? Нет. Италия. Италия. <laughs> Похоже. Италия. <laughs> а вы принестровские? Да, да, да. Русские, украинские? Как, как вы по национальности? Украина. А, окей. Но вы родился где? Украина или? Нет. Не. А, сколько вам лет? 39. 39, значит, что вы... Да, еще в СССР родились. Yes. Да. А прошли через войну, когда вы были маленьким. Yes. Понял. А сейчас и снова война. Ну, слава богу, что здесь нет пока, пока войны. Пока вы говорите, а думаете, что будет? Ну, не знаю. Да, был я в Италии тоже. Да? Yes. Что делали? Работали? Драйвер. Трак? Трак. А, Трак -драйвер. где вы были? В Венеции были? Yes. Да? Uh, да. Понравилось? Mm, да, красиво. А, это река Днестер? Днестер, да. А, окей, окей. So Bender is the only town on this side, on the Moldovan side of the uh, river Dniester and now we're going into the other side. Oh, а там российский и принестровский yes. флаг. You guys could see that, well actually you don't see anymore. Well, there you've got the Prinestrovian flag. And on the other side of the bridge you had the Russian flag as well. And now we have officially crossed into the right bank of the river Dniester. Now we're really deep into Prinestrovian territory. Can you guys see that sign? Was privet sweet stolitsa PMR. That was a welcoming sign from the capital of the Prinestrovian Moldavian Republic. Okay, da, ja vam daju sto. Evo, zdača mi nada. Da, no problem, me dume što me budem išto raz v Bjendere. Zahadite, jesli šok. Da, me znajem gdje vas najci. Ok, da. Karašo. Kako vas zavud? Denis, Dan. Dan, Davide, očin prijatno. Ok. Do svidanja. Svijeteva. Welcome to Tiraspol, the capital of Prinjestrovje, which, as I told you, is a partially recognized country. When I say partially, I mean that it's recognized internationally only by three countries, and these three countries are... Well, you can see their flags over there. You've got the flag of the unrecognized country of Abkhazia, you've got the flag of the unrecognized country of South Ossetia, and you've got the flag of the unrecognized country of Nagorno-Karabakh. And if you're wondering what the reason is as to why only these three countries actually recognize Prinistrovia, it's because obviously they've got their own claim to independence. And then again here, you've got the logo of the Prinistrovian Moldavian Republic. Let me see if I can climb all the way up. Again, it says Prinistrovskaya Moldavskaya Respublika, which is, yeah, Prinistrovian Republic of Moldova or something like that, or maybe Moldovian Prinistrovian Republic. That's probably how it should be. And then we've got to the other main square of town where you've got a, you've got a weird statue, let's put it this way, you've got a very weird statue of Vladimir Lenin. This is the, what does it say? I think this is like the parliament of the Prinestovian Republic, so I'm actually not sure I'm supposed to be filming on here because this is like a governmental building or something. And they always tell you that you're not supposed to film around governmental buildings in places like this, but let's just be quiet. And here basically again, you've got Vladimir Lenin with a weird protuberance coming out of his left shoulder that I don't really get. And obviously at the top there, just because it's the parliament of Prinestrovia, we've got the Prinestrovian flag and the Russian flag. Well guys, what can I say? I mean, the sun is just about to set. I know we, we didn't really do much here in Prinestrovia today. I mean, it was, it was a bit of a transitional day because we went from Moldova to Prinestrovia and we spoke to a few people. So I'm thinking that I would like to stay more here in Prinestrovia. Way more fun to have in the partially unrecognized republic of Prinestrovia. I'll see you tomorrow.